Biotech has one of the trickiest interviews among all industries. Why? Since it has a wide coverage, interviews can either be technical, less technical, easy or difficult. There is no middle ground. To add to this terror, most interviews in biotech or biopharma industries can last longer than you think. Now an interview process should not be that hard, especially when here you are with a guide for a job interview success in biotech. Hello viewers of Biotechnica, today let's talk about the 10 fail proof strategy on how to crack a biotech job interview. Going to the first point, do your detailed research about the company. Yes, when you get that offer for the first interview, it's important to do your research well. Hiring managers are looking for proof that you have familiarized yourself with the company. If you're interviewing for a job at a biotech company, learn everything about that company, its business strategy, its science or technology, etc. Some of this information is on the company's website, so you can prepare yourself well in advance. Remember that the interview is an opportunity for you and the company to get acquainted and to explore to what extent there is a match between your professional skills and interests and the company's business needs. So the more relaxed and prepared you can be during the interview process, the more essential information you will both give and get and the more engaged you will be understanding the open position and its potential. Also, you can look for what all research works or projects are going in that institution which you are applying for or what products it manufactures and deals with. Not only that, uh, if you can look into a little bit about the manufacturing process or what techniques are used in that, that will be really benefiting you. Next point, be well prepared with the technical details. Yes. You can expect questions about the details of your technical know-how and your work experience, including your problem-solving abilities and creativity. You will likely be asked about your what your career aspirations are. Expect to be asked about your level of mastery of laboratory techniques and equipments. So for any kind of lab-based position, experience in a lab setting is a must. Experience with lab equipment, knowing how to set up a lab correctly, knowing what tools are used for what and what lab safety is are all baseline expectations for any lab position in the company. Keep yourself up to date with the latest developments in biotech for possible technical conversations. Once you're in the interview, you will need your brain to cooperate. We all know that biotech is an all-encompassing industry. You can, you can expect questions from all aspects of biotech, like agriculture, pharmacy, or bioengineering. So get ready to survive technical conversations, which could happen anywhere in between your interview. Chances are your potential employer will ask probing questions just to gauge how you would fare on that job. These questions can include very technical topics or current events, latest biotech developments from what I mentioned, the sub-industries. So prepare by making sure you know the current events in biotech and knowing more about your chosen industry. So for that, you can subscribe to Biotechnica newsletter, alerts and Biotechnica weekly magazine so that you will be updated from time to time. When you are prepared, this stage should be very easy for you. The next question, the next point, have your answers ready for commonly asked questions. Okay, so there will be some uh, common questions like uh, what is generally asked. Why do you want to work for us? How can you help us advance our research? Have your answers prepared, pre prepared for these things. This is a most common question in any biotech job market. It's deceptive simplicity is probably why it trips up so many people. So here is your chance to show off your research you have done in any company or some research project which you have done related to the research going on in that company. If they are a large pharma sector, speak to one of their newly released treatments, what they have uh, taken out in the market. If they are in biotech, speak to their recent achievements and say you would like to help continue their progress. Your aim is to show you understand their future goals and position yourself as key to their success. Next question is why should we consider you above all candidates? This is your 
signal to tell them more about yourself. Give them a clear and concise summary of your relevant experience, success and future goals. This should dovetail with your job requirements. Show your interviewers that you are a perfect fit for their needs. What are your short and long term goals? Tailor your answer to the short term and long term goals that were listed in the job description itself. Accordingly, you have to frame your answer. If you are interviewing with a job biotech industry, for example, then you will want your long term goals to match the long term research goals of that particular company. Next point, prepare smart answers in advance for off putting questions. So what can be the off putting questions? So there will be extremely unexpected questions during your interview in biotech. For example, you might be asked if you are planning to start a family. Okay, many women applicants in their 30s, they have been asked this question, even though many HR managers are not technically allowed to, but don't, don't let these questions like this upset you. Politely ask, uh, may I know how this question relates to your qualification? Then slowly move to a more related topic. Sometimes HR managers are looking for candidates who know how to navigate through those stressful situations. Other unexpected questions can include political views, religious affiliations, hobbies, favorite food and all. If in doubt, if this could create a bias, a little white lie could save your career. Okay, so sometimes it's allowed. Next point is seize any opportunity during the interview to highlight your achievements. Okay, during all stages of the interview, it's important to clearly articulate what your experience has been and what you can bring to the company. While much of biotechnology involves working as a team, it's important to use I statements instead of just V statements to show that you brought to the team and what you could bring to the company. Take the time to be clear and specific in your answers. Also, candidates should be able to articulate their roles in the previous teams and give detailed examples about their experiences and duties while still being concise and answering the questions asked. There may be also situational behavioral situ uh, questions. So it's always a good idea to have a few examples in mind that you can pull from to answer such type of questions. Next point, show your interdisciplinary skills. It's hard to demonstrate how good you are with interdisciplinary skills just by talking. Yet an interview in biotech industry will push you hard to the limit. So for example, if you're interviewing to be a chemist, speak like a chemist and biologist. Traditionally, biotech industries have chemists and biologists in their drug discovery teams. So you need to be conversant, not just being a chemist, but also in some another field. This will show your flexibility and ability to work with other specialists in the field without having to demonstrate your skills. As early as now, prepare by talking to other people with different field of specialization. Know their work and function and know they move around the job. This will give you a broader idea of how everyone works in the team. Next very important point is ask questions. Asking questions during an interview, it no, it's not just acceptable, but it's expected. While it's okay to have questions, it sounds better to a hiring manager if your questions are detailed and show that you have looked into the company rather than some generalized questions that could have been answered on your own. You as the candidate should be interviewing the company just as they interview you to make sure it is a good fit for both parties. Remember that the interview is much as you for you as for the company. So it is important to both answer questions asked of you and ask questions as well. So some questions you may want to ask is what attracts you that is the interviewer and others to work with the company. How are company and individual goals established? How is performance measured here? How are decision made and communicated? If the company is in the process of seeking food and drug administration approval for one of more drugs, then what are the prospects for getting that XYZ drug to the market and uh, what might that mean for the company? What's the company's burn rate or what is the cash, cash position? All these questions are very detailed ones and it will show that you are interested in the company's benefit. Next point, 
शो दैट यू रेजोनेट विद द कंपनीज कल्चरल पिलर्स दो एक्सपीरियंस एंड एजुकेशन आर बोथ इम्पॉर्टेंट बट वन एम्फोसिस इज दैट कैंडिडेट शुड ऑल्सो रेजोनेट विद द कंपनीज कल्चरल पिलर्स एज वेल सो इट्स नॉट जस्ट अ जॉब दे होप द कैंडिडेट वुड बी पैशनेट अबाउट द वर्क दे वुड बी डूइंग एंड अंडरस्टैंड एंड रेस्पेक्ट the uh, the culture surrounding the workforce over there so the last round of interviews is usually very inclusive hiring managers want candidates to meet as many people on the team as possible to gauge the culture fit and if hired make onboarding easier one of the most important points to remember is that company people may not look for a carbon copy of the people on the team it's not about fitting in the question is will someone bring what they are looking for in terms of collaboration and curiosity and will that particular member have a voice of their own where they are willing to speak up and contribute and even ask questions will they be a really positive contributing member of the team or not next point be honest with red flags be prepared to explain any changes you would have made moving from company to company Though every candidate is different and comes with a different background there are a handful of red flags that both hiring managers have noticed among candidates that don't appear as strong in the interviews hopping from job to job will never look that appealing to a company looking to hire though it is not necessarily a deal breaker but the key is to working around a past of bouncing around companies is to be honest with the hiring manager about your reason for leaving Honesty is important. When discussing why you chose to leave a job, it's okay to say that the company wasn't working for you or something negative was happening. Sharing that information exemplifies that you have introspection and understanding of the importance of honest communications. Last point, avoid any attempt to be technical if hiring managers do not throw any technical questions. Okay, so you have read to be Uh, quite a number of biotech news and recited several biotech principles but during the interview the employer was more interested in your work expectations and personal experience so this is very normal especially in biotech industries who are looking for individuals who can work with a team so as already mentioned there can be a lot of unexpected turn of events during an interview so don't be pushy to show how much you know about biotech otherwise you would be shooting yourself in the foot referencing a particular source is a very risky business if the individual has not been a regular subscriber or reader of that area it could backfire so trying to be technical even when not needed will only make you sound weird arrogant and off topic so if you are in this situation treat it as an opportunity to show yourself it's in best of your interest to be honest about critical reflections experience qualifications including your strength and weaknesses present yourself as favorably as possible without touching too much on the private life and indicate your leadership skills with simplicity so now there is a bonus tip for all of you keep in mind basic requirements and etiquettes The first point is dress up accordingly to company standards. Don't come to an interview wearing jeans and sneakers. This is not an interview for a part-time work in your college days. Don't wear too much flashy or glittery pieces of jewelry. This is not a party either. So the fact is you have already been judged by the way you are dressed before you get to answer a question. So the safest choice would be a corporate attire. Footwear also does matter. So keep it formal and uh, simple. Next point learn to address and greet properly be very polite and don't forget the basic etiquette of wishing whatever time of the day it is asking them how they are doing and talk politely but confidently if you are not uh, if you feel any question is not appropriate as i mentioned you can always say kindly show me how this is important for the uh, requ- job requirement okay help me understand this uh, why uh, why is this done so you can always be polite very important be punctual be on time and behave well neither to timid or nervous nor to over confident so if you follow this tips and tricks for your next job interview i am pretty sure you will do 
very well you will fare well and that job will definitely be yours all the best everyone thank you